Hey everybody, uh, my name is Ad and I am the artist behind Ghost Team and uh, I wanted to show you something I've been working on for a very long time months, or who knows, actually, long time but uh, the idea is to turn VJing from rendered files to Unreal Engine I've been learning Unreal for a while now, as well as uh, blueprints and all the transformation and you don't want to know. And here is a small teaser that I wanted to show you. So basically, let's jump right into uh, Resolum Arena. And I've been doing that using Wire, which is cool. It's let me do the connection with OSC between Unreal and Resolum. And the first example I'm going to show you is this loop. It's going to be part of the 10 loops package that I've been working on and as you can see this comes with a ton of controls that you can map I'll go over them quickly to show you what I'm talking about first of all you can control the amount of towers either on the X or the axis you can move them to the sides here we have camera rotation manually of course we can animate those stuff but Wait, and we're gonna have the C space camera, which is also useful because right here, if you see where my mouse is, you're able to control the resolution. So basically any resolution is possible. And when you change resolution, sometimes the depth changes. So that's why I have this. And light power, that's of course this baby right here. So we're gonna match that to the BPM, but not yet. And uh, set a secondary paradox right there. Hue, changing the color of the light. Saturation, yep, exactly what it sounds like. Secondary U. Now, let's have some more fun. First of all, one of the nicest features that I thought about. Oops, sorry, a little shake. It's kind of like my first tutorial, so yay. Uh, so, one of the things we're gonna do here, by the way, everything is gonna have alpha channel unless it was designed not to, but most of the loops have alpha channel. And what you can do is use another channel from Resolume, for example, that's gonna use, uh, in this case, my logo here. And if we're going to enable texture, that's right away going to implement anything actually from Resolume can switch that. Basically, incorporate anything you want in a 3D environment be very useful you can also inherit color which will basically inherit the uh, apologize for the terrible color combination let's get here something a bit nicer Ooh, much better and of course uh, there we have a uh, mode for light behavior let's go back for a second and we have a chase which is always great right we have flicker mode and we can make it drive. Woo! And we're off. Da -da 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 -da. It's great. You have to, you have to say that it's pretty interesting, right? And let's turn off the texture again. We can angle the towers. We could start a fun rotation. Of course, rotation speed. Is also controlled basically you can do a lot of nice things here and this is just the tip of the iceberg I promise I'm going to show you a lot more within the upcoming days and soon we're gonna go into beta testing and gonna get this baby out Woo! thank you for watching